Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 1022 of One Piece today. And uh, there was uh, something that um, I completely uh, misunderstood during um, some of these previous episodes. So, for some reason, I thought that uh, uh, Izu was um, like joining the battle against Kaido when Luffy showed up, when that was not the case. Uh, Izu was uh, always... Um, with the, the Akazaya 9 uh, during this fight um, against Kaido. And yeah, like, it, it completely changes what uh, I thought that happened um, in that room when they were being um, uh, treated. So it wasn't uh, actually uh, Izo, because he was also um, injured because of what happened when they fought um, against Kaido. Um, so it's, um, it's definitely someone else. I went back to see... Um, the silhouette a bit better, and they even showed a bit of the face. And um, honestly, if I had to guess, uh, at least um, the first thing that crossed my mind was um, that it could be uh, Yori. So, I don't know if this is it or not, because uh, there there isn't even um, like any, any clue that she is uh, uh, actually at um, Onigashima. But uh, just the fact that uh, Tama was uh, able to get here, it uh, like it makes um, like it wouldn't be a surprise if um, Yori also managed to come here and help uh, uh, with this as best as she could. So again, I don't know if uh, it's her. It's uh, my best guess uh, right now. But uh, in the end, I'm going to have to wait and see um, what um, they reveal uh, later on. But yeah. Either way, there's um, a lot happening, uh, as always, and now there's apparently going to be this really big fight between uh, uh, Nico Robin and um, Black Maria. So, of course, um, I'm really excited to see it, since it's been a while since um, we saw Robin uh, like literally having to, to fight to this extent, like to have... Um, like, I don't know if I should say a one-on-one, -on -one because I still don't know uh, if Brooke is going to, um, to be fighting um, alongside her. But uh, either way, it's uh, always something that um, I, I really um, like to see um, her fighting, because her power is uh, uh, one of my favorites, and it's just really awesome to see uh, everything she's uh, capable of doing um, with it. Um, and yeah, hopefully things will happen um, in a good way for her. I really hope that um, she defeats uh, uh, Black Maria. It would be like literally a big problem out of the way. Um, but um, at the same time, I don't know what uh, Black Maria is about to do. So she was um, showing like this really big uh, weapon, and uh, I'm assuming she can uh, do some uh, like some uh, abilities. Uh, with it, and she can be quite dangerous, and I mean, she's literally part of uh, the Tobi Ropo, supposedly the, 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 like, the really strong ones in these Animal Kingdom pirates. So it's, um, it's definitely not going to be easy for uh, Robin to deal with her, but uh, she's also, um, she knows how to, um, like, she can take care of herself, so she can um, pretty much, um, not too sure how to put it, like, of course, it's not going to be easy, but uh, I believe she can do it. She's also really good. She is really smart above everything. So that's what makes her um, so so dangerous. Um, and yeah, I'm still worried about um, the, the Akazaya 9, going back to that, because uh, there's a lot of enemies uh, who knows um, their location, and especially some, um, some really dangerous ones like uh, Jack, and now they're going... Uh, uh, that way, and uh, I'm not too sure who exactly would go there to help um, them out because we saw Sanji, he was um, like not sure about um, where to go, and um, I'm not uh, entirely sure of where he ended up going because it just uh, it's like he he went um, to like, in a random direction, he j just couldn't decide, so he was, like, spinning, and then he ended up just uh, going to, like, going one way, like, a random one. But yeah, like, it, it made me feel like he's going for um, Momonosuke, but then again, I might be wrong about that. And in the end, it would probably be better if uh, he went um, 
for the Yakuza 9 because Yamato and Shinobu they can still handle um, the ones after them um, to some uh, extent but the Yakuza 9 are literally powerless they they are severely injured so it's not like they can um, protect themselves at this point but yeah I, I just hope that um, as soon as possible uh, some of these guys uh, focus on going for the Akazaya 9 and uh, prevent uh, something really bad from uh, happening um, to them even though it's uh, like really hard to know who could um, do this because a lot of these guys have a lot on their hands right now and it's not like uh, they can um, just uh, move uh, freely around the place without having um, to fight but yeah I just need to hope uh, for the best and I really can't wait to see um, how things will happen during um, these next moments. So, hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. And this look, though, I really love this aura around Robin. She looked really. I don't know the right word for it, but... It's just really epic to see that happening. She looked like really... scary, like dangerous. But really cool at the same time. Also Kaido. Looks really cool, but... I'm worried about what he could do. Oh, Chopper! I actually thought it was Yoguro at first. And I hope he's... And that's not good. He's almost done, but he's... He's spreading a lot. Damn. And this willpower. I love it. I mean, he keeps saying that he's almost done, so... I hope it's... Really soon. These people are... In big trouble. And even the tears were freezing. Oh, is that Yogoro? This is well, like... It really feels like he's already... Done with the the antidote. It's it's just um, like putting the right quantities and stuff to give to everyone. I mean, just, that just shows how much he cares about you all.
It looks really cool, but... I had no idea he could become this... this big. Yeah, exactly. Wonder how he does it. Hmm. Oh, damn! What was that? It was really cool. I can only imagine how strong he is um, like this, even though he's affected by this virus, so it's draining his power, like I said. Oh, damn. Damn, he wants... And to kill him, right? Yeah, let's hope it doesn't get to that point. I mean, hmm. It's probably about to do a mistake. One of the worst things you can do, underestimate someone. Man, that's a... Uh, his breath. Wait. Why is he holding it like... Damn! Man, that's really impressive. Still has a lot of power, even after all of this.
Hmm, Luffy. I really love this music. Yeah, hopefully. Man, this is just so beautiful. I really love this aura around him. And everything he's saying, of course. He's always been... A really amazing guy. Always loved everything about him. He's showing that he might be old, but... He still got a lot... of power, of strength and stuff. Hmm. Oh, it's that again? Damn, he actually... That was nice! It's scary how he can do... He can throw a lot of those. Kind of just takes one to eat them, to settle it. Oh, that was nice. Hey, this is actually really good. As long as Law manages to dodge these attacks. He can like... um. Prevent Luffy from being it and Zoro as well when it's needed. Wait, you already recovered? Oh! He's already back? Man, I'm used to it taking so long. Episode wise. He's already recovered. That's awesome. Oh damn, it shoots arrows! Okay, this is pretty much what he said before, right? In a moment of crisis, you unlock your... Like, full power or something? He was referring to this Rio. Oh, Queen! Oh! Wait, is it a Dwight King? He 
You need to feed King or... I mean, he was fighting against both, right? At the same time. Oh, there's King. Damn. He's really cool. Damn, he got hit. Damn, look at Marco go! And he's really cool. You were saying that. <laughs> Holy. Marco is insane. You're doing pretty well, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can't keep up like this forever, but that was really awesome. Okay, he kind of needs Chopper to be done and treat everyone who got infected so they can all deal with Queen and King. Oh, that's not good. He's right behind him. Man, I hope Marco notices it. Clear the final problem. Oh. I wonder if Chopper is going to do it himself. Yep. That was to be expected. I hope it works. Is it melting? It fever, it's like the body eating up. Wait! What is that? It's like it's his flesh? Man, that's scary! Oh. oh, he just defeated this guy. Pretty much everyone else is really something. I hope he's not fully transformed.
Oh damn, that worked! This really can't happen. I hope it's working with Chopper and the in these steps in and gives it to all of them. And I hope this gets stopped. Oh, and it's going to end like that. Man, I hate when it happens. I mean, I still have uh, hope that um, he can be saved. I mean, seeing what Chopper was uh, doing, how he was... Like, the, um, the cure is pretty much complete, but uh, of course um, he has no way to know if it works uh, until he tests with uh, someone. But uh, he's trying with himself, so I really hope that um, it's successful. It was a bit scary to see what was um, happening, but hopefully it's just, uh, like... The the cure working and it won't be uh, like bad in the end. But yeah, it's still uh, again scary to see how like it is like not really the skin, but I want to believe it was the eyes cracking and then these uh, uh, red spots uh, showing up. Again, I don't know. Like at first, uh, it felt like it was um, like open wounds and stuff. Like the it was like his flesh. But um, maybe it's just um, like something uh, that the body is producing to to deal with the ice. Maybe some sort of um, like sweating. I, 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 I'm not exactly sure, but it's uh, like one of the I don't know how to put it, but it's like the best scenario I can co I can come up with or something like that. So I, 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 maybe it's um, it's uh, how it is like just. Um, that you're doing this thing and eating up uh, uh, his um, entire body in order to get uh, rid of um, this virus. And yeah, I just uh, want this to um, to happen, for, for it to work on Chopper, and then uh, for Chopper to start throwing, uh, uh, like, n not literally, but to start giving uh, all of those um, to, um, to the ones who got infected. And I, I want to say especially starting with Yoguro, because... Uh, Maybe he's not the one closer to becoming um, fully transformed, but he's really close to that. And if it happens, like it, it will, it would be really hard to stop him. So that's exactly why they, why he decided for this to happen, for the others to to kill him before he fully transforms. So again, it's a, a really honorable decision from him. Of course, it's been amazing to see everything that Yogoro. Uh, has been um, doing during um, this arc so far, but yeah, it's um, it's still uh, like it still sucks to see him like this, like suffering and being uh, uh, put um, in this um, uh, situation. So I just really hope that um, they are able to save him and then uh, everyone else, of course. And yeah, like there's there's like um, a lot to be thinking about uh, right now. I was really impressed by. Uh, what uh, Marco was doing, I mean, going, uh, like, even against um, uh, Queen uh, and King at the same time, that's uh, really something, and like you said, they have um, bounties uh, above um, 1 billion, I believe, so that uh, already says a lot about how strong uh, Marco really is, but it's not like he, he can keep doing this forever, so um, on his, um, like, because of this, uh, is also relying a lot on um, 
on Chopper and uh, like him being successful with uh, treating um, like uh, everyone. So uh, so there's like one less thing to worry about, uh, and they can focus on um, on Queen and uh, and King, and Marco will have uh, help in the end. So again, that would be of course the best thing um, that could happen. But then again, I'm going to have to wait and see how um, things um, will actually happen. Um, and yeah, there's also like this situation with um, with um, Kaido. So he's uh, once again showing um, how strong he is. And uh, it was surprising to see that Luffy is already recovered. So I don't know, but um, I am really used to having to wait a long time for um, for him um, to recover. Like I don't know how exactly to say it, but. Um, Sure, it's only 10 minutes, but uh, when it comes to, um, to like episode length and stuff, uh, I feel like it takes um, a longer time um, for, um, for this time to pass. So I don't remember how much, um, how many episodes it took for Luffy to recover during um, some of the previous situations when he was up against uh, uh, a Katakuri, for example, and then uh, also. Against um, Do Flamingo, I think it happened as well. Yeah, it definitely did. It was Law uh, literally saving him. Um, but yeah, like, it was really fast to see him uh, recovered, so that's really nice. And I guess they haven't really been showing, uh, uh, like, what has been happening um, on the rooftop, so I guess there was, like, already some episodes for him um, to recover. And yeah, like, in the end, what matters is that. Um, this uh, is good, so now he can um, go back to fighting and hopefully uh, he will be able to get a better result uh, uh, this time. Like, he's probably going to uh, use um, his force gear once again at some point and uh, eventually after that uh, he's going to run out of Aki, so hopefully that will happen after he defeated Kaido maybe. M maybe this is asking for too much, but I just want... Um, like, something good to happen, of course. Um, but yeah, either way, just uh, really can't wait to, um, to find out more about um, all of the situations currently happening uh, um, at this uh, place. And uh, I just remember that uh, uh, Pero Sparrow was right behind uh, Marco, right? So this is, of course, uh, not good. I really hope that um, he notices uh, that um, someone is behind him and doesn't get... Uh, uh, like, it by this uh, surprise attack. I'm at least assuming that Perospero is going to try something. But yeah, again, just um, curious to see how things um, will happen. So, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.